originally this boat came with a 225 Yamaha with a Mercruiser uh, prop on it. So we were only getting about 40 miles an hour top speed and with an engine as big as 225 with good compression, you should be going much faster on a 21 foot bay boat. Then I found this incredible website online which helped me pick the right pitch for my prop, which gave me more speed. So I recently took a shallow shortcut and broke the skeg off the bottom of my outboard and cracked the prop. So this led me to purchasing a new prop, which led me to this video. And so now that we have broken this prop, we get to know more about props because we're gonna test the difference in the four and the three blade props. All right, just a little hammer. And I use this little piece of wood, pop it on out. Didn't really take much force. Hopefully that one fits in our new one. So it's tapered, uh, and so I said that because this way it won't go in, this way it has to go in. I'm gonna give that a little love tap, and I just push that on. Um, so these are turning point props, and the Solus prop, both of them fit on this Yamaha 225 very easily. Like I said, I wanna say it was a 14 prong, Obviously, this one's gonna fit because this one came off our old one. Um, I think for the sake of maximum climax, we're gonna start off with the three blade prop um, and we're gonna do the exact conditions. This should be around 49, 50 miles an hour, um, and we know this. However, will the four blade 19 pitch prop be faster? So that's what we're out to see. So we're gonna save the climax for the end, and I won't even know myself. I wanna see if this thing's gonna get us any more speed, which would result in better gas mileage. So we're just putting this back on like so. It's very simple. I am gonna cinch this down a little bit, um, especially since it's a new bearing. All right, for our prop test, we've got the three blade 19 pitch Yamaha prop. We are on the beautiful Jordan River. We are just gonna pin it and see how fast we get to the top speed. Then we'll uh, put the other prop on and try again. We're gonna use Google Maps, as you can see on our phone for the uh, speedometer right now, we're going four miles an hour. Uh, it'd be helpful to have a pair of channel locks on the boat and a spare propeller um, in case you ever break one of these off. And the reason is because this one tool can take out the cotter pin and take off that bolt right there and change your prop out. So it's great to have a pair of channel locks um, and an extra prop. The four blader is on. And to be quite honest, I want this one to win. Why? Because I think it'd be cool to be able to go even faster than 50 miles an hour and this is the one I put my money on. So I know that the internet recommended that I put this one and uh, it is very fast and I'll be happy to use it if uh, this is not the winner. So we're about to see momentarily. That is how to launch a boat by yourself. Now we pick the trailer up. All right, we're headed out for round number two. 
All right, so we seem to have an immediate answer. Watch how this thing bogs down. did not expect that we are not going to be able to even test this prop we can't get up on plane and I mean to be quite honest it sounds it sounds terrible to the engine so we're gonna take that prop off we're just gonna idle back and go back with the original three bladed 19 pitch works great for this engine in this boat um, go online and check out turning point props and see if you can uh, optimize the speed on your boat so this is in no way a sponsored video. However, I was so impressed by this website and how they were able to direct me to the exact pitch and size prop that is best for my boat in order to gain me 10 miles an hour that I wanted to share this with y'all. So when you click on the website, at the top left, you'll see Prop Wizard. And when you click there, it asks you specifically for the size of your engine, the type of your boat, and actually it goes down into how many people do you typically travel with, how many ice chests, how many fishing poles, and it tries to guess the weight exactly, and that's when it recommends a prop for you. All right, so here's proof that you can do this um, on the water. Just make sure you don't drop your, your cotter pin, your nut, or your washer, or have backups of each on the boat. So as long as you can find some calm water, it shouldn't be too hard to do. I guess um, one one thing that I should note that I kind of forgot about until just now is that I'm standing on a power pole. So that certainly helps if you can stand like I'm standing here. Um, otherwise, it's definitely going to be harder or you'd have to jump in the water. Okay. The good news is we did not destroy this prop. So it's going back to turning point and um, get our money back for that one and only run the 19 from now on. Okay, bye bye Torque Monster propeller. I hate to see you. I learned a lot making this video. And if you think that you're going to go to the Turning Point Prop website and check out what prop is best for your boat, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you all very much for watching.